Here, what's going on, everybody? It's so Ipod King Carter here, the super mini YouTube. I got some info about NBA 2K13 that you guys probably are going to want to know. Rob Jones, if you don't know who Rob Jones is, obviously you didn't tune in the E3 or haven't heard, seen, or touched anything E3 this weekend that passed. Now, what I want to talk to you guys about is two things that they're trying to fix. They're trying to fix collisions and they're trying to fix the emotion. First thing, let me hop into collision first, you guys. Now, inside the description is going to be a link to an article that entitles everything I'm about to talk about. But I just want to go over it and give you guys my idea on what they're trying to fix and how they should go about it. Now, they're saying they're trying to fix collisions in NBA 2K13. Now, have you guys ever noticed when you're going for a layup and your guy falls to the ground and it takes him a million years to get up from a stupid animation? Or you guy going for a dunk, he may dunk on somebody and you know he's trying to walk over top of him but somehow his leg gets caught in a freaky animation and it just doesn't work right? That's what they're trying to fix. What happened when E3 was going down was somebody was in the back playing the game, most likely Rob Jones. They had a few reporters in there actually watching what was going on in the game. And LeBron James went in for a dunk. Now, they say that this dude tried to brace himself for a crash landing to the ground. That means that LeBron postered somebody and in midair had enough time to try to figure out what type of approach he was, he was going to take to the ground. Now, I promise you, if they have those type of animations in this game, this game will be the best basketball game of the year. It's just that simple, guys. I'm going to say it here first. If they have your my player or you, any team you're playing with going in for dunks or layups and stuff like that trying to brace themselves midair to the ground oh my god that means the game is too fluid now this is one more thing that they were saying is some of the players well not some of the players but everybody they said that they were moving much faster on the screen also when they were running the fast break it was more flu fluid um, also even the dribbling with the ball out in front of their bodies a bit more not like you know the speed burst dribble but just like actually dribbling the ball like it wasn't tight to their body it didn't look like they was you know like a suction pump type of dribble it was actually more fluid so if they're fixing collisions and they're trying to fix the gameplay this game is going to be crazy. Now, moving on to the emotion tip. What they were saying was, you know how last year if you might hit a buzzer beater and everybody just turns into an automatic bot and then all of a sudden it's like, hooray, cheer. They're trying to stop all of that. What they're trying to do is they're trying to fix the way that your player, your teammates, everybody reacts when certain things happen on the floor. Like, say for instance, somebody gets a crazy dunk. They want the entire team to be hyped. They want you to be hyped all in one motion. When somebody hits a buzzer beater, they need people jumping in the air, ecstatic from the from the drive. Like it's just that simple. So what they're saying is they're trying to upgrade the emotions. So that means that they're upgrading the presentation, the gameplay, and animations. All in one, all in one article, guys. So I'm telling you, tune in. Keep listening, guys. I'm telling you, I'm going to keep bringing you as much info about NBA 2K13 and even NBA Live as much as I can. But right now, I want you to go in the description, read the article for yourself. I can only say but so much. This is IKC signing out, and I'm going to holler at you on the next vid. Peace.